the rule of law has to be followed even if it produces many times an unjust result. Judge Bob Pratt has always had a passion for justice. In the 70s, he fought for civil rights and civil liberties. As a Legal Aid Society staff lawyer in Polk County, Iowa, he represented those who couldn't afford legal counsel. In private practice, he did significant pro bono work. He worked for justice in domestic issues, consumer laws, housing, workman's compensation, disability cases, and unemployment issues. Learning about the personal attributes, the clients, about what you were uh, attempting to serve was an important part of uh, my internship, an important part about legal aid, both when I was in law school and when I was in practice. People that were coming to us wanted our help and understanding just as much as they wanted us to uh, be their lawyer. So I tried to approach clients in the practice of law in that very spirit. Well, Judge Pratt and I started working together at Legal Aid, which was the great uh, employment opportunity for lawyers when we got out of school. All the lawyers wanted to get at a Legal Aid Society and do the work to help the disenfranchised. In 1997, he was appointed a federal district judge by then President William Clinton. In 2006, he became Chief Judge of the Southern District of Iowa. Chief Judge requires that you try to build a consensus. We have many employees in the clerk's office, in the probation department. I have colleagues that are magistrate judges, bankruptcy judges. Um, we all try to uh, follow my judicial philosophy, and my judicial philosophy emanates from Rodney King, which is, can't we all just get along? One thing about his courtroom that I find fascinating, I've talked to other people about it also, there's a sense of calmness uh, within the uh, courtroom. And I talked to some people, and I perhaps, along with anyone else, I've never seen Bob, I've known him, I don't know how many years, I've never seen him yell at anyone. I've never seen him angry. He has a sense of passion about justice that kind of trumps getting angry. The other thing that I think is very unique about his courtroom is that I've been in a lot of federal judges courtroom and state judges courtroom is that he incorporates the jurors into the process. He has a, uh, an amazing voir dire process and what I mean by that is that when you're selecting the jury he wants them to be involved in the process not just the judicial process itself but the history of the process the importance of what you're doing. He explains that to him he articulates in a sense that he's not talking down to them and that's a great quality that I've observed every time I walk into this courtroom. I hope I do have a passion for justice. Uh, it's tempered by the reality that not every uh, case allows a judge or even a jury to achieve what we think is a just result. But nonetheless, we still have to follow the law. Judge Pratt is a strong supporter of Creighton University's School of Law. He was the first chair of the Law Alumni Advisory Board and served on the Des Moines Regional Alumni Advisory Board. It was a good exchange because I learned about other alums and what kind of work they did and the way they saw their relationship with the law school and with law students and law professors. It was also a way for me to uh, kind of give my perspective on what I thought the law school ought to be doing, the kind of curriculum that I thought was most helpful to the law school, he and his wife, Rosemary Vito Pratt, established the Service and Justice Fund in the law school, which supports programs such as immersion trips to the Dominican Republic. When you see people who do this, um, and you see the kind of uh, uh, conditions that they live in, and then you compare it to the materialism that you're used to on a day in and day out basis in the United States, um, you just wonder why it has to be that way, why we can't do a better job at making sure that uh, material goods are spread over the world in a more equitable fashion. I think the fact that he's a visionary and he's taken the law where he thinks it ought to go in a way that enhances the quality of life of all the people, but more importantly I think his mission has remained the same to help the disenfranchised and I think that's what he's a accomplished in his career. 
He embodies Creighton's mission as a thoughtful, caring minister of justice serving the public. The Creighton University School of Law takes pride in presenting the 2012 Alumni Merit Award to the Honorable Robert W. Bob Pratt.